Today I am going to talk about how to configure wireless devices. So these are objective of today's lecture and uh, let's go to the module that's uh, which we are we are running uh, in Cisco networking academic course in scaling the network. The chapter four is all about wireless LAN. So I'm just quickly go through that objective and other things which is there. Uh, so so let's uh, first talk about how wireless LAN works. So uh, and before that, just to tell you what is the benefit of wireless device. So wireless LAN is uh, flexible, right? Uh, so for example, this particular laptop can be connected to this particular wireless device if I configure or this particular wireless device. So it's uh, flexible, it depends on topology, it depends on how I configure. So flexibility, productivity, you can reduce the cost. So these are the benefits of wireless device. So basically wireless network can be broadly classified into WPAN, WLAN, WAN and others like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and all, cellular and satellite, satellite broadband. So these are different types of frequencies where wireless devices works. And basically 802.11 standard are the standards in which wireless devices works. So 802.11 A, B, G, A, A, C, A, D, these are the IEEE 802.11 X standards. So where we have different types of speeds and connections. The next topic or next uh, thing but we are going to talk about that's Wi-Fi, you know how this compatibility issues are there and how security plays a huge role. Uh, this extensible authentication protocol, this is one of the issues. So, if I compare uh, wireless LAN and LAN, basically wireless LAN is all about 802.11 and uh, where devices are basically 802.3. So, this has the features of radio frequency signals, here this cable signals. So, it is basically CSMS CD and this is basically CSMS CA and there is a difference of IEEE device uh, IEEE 802.3 and this is 802.11 so basically how to deploy wireless devices so we need to have wireless NICs uh, I'll show you how to in details how it can be configured so this is a device Cisco's uh, links is wireless router which is this so basically there are two types of devices one is called router and is called switch. So this is basically wireless router and this is basically wireless access point or wireless switch. I will show you how to configure both in this case. So basic wireless and if you can see this is how a switch is connected to a topology and this is how router connected to a topology. So basically when we talk about LAN, uh, so it, it creates a, it, it, it actually in collision domain. So if we talk about creating a separate broadcast domain, we talk about the uh, wireless router. So basically we can create so many, these are the different different topologies and these are the different different Cisco devices. So basically we have basically broadly classified into two types of devices. One is wireless router and wireless access point. So basically I will show you to configure both. So when we talk about devices, we have a small wireless deployment solution where uh, you know, single individual uh, devices are configured and we also have large wireless deployment solution where we have, you know, we can manage, you know, MCC, we, we can have controllers in the wireless segment. Uh, so this, this we can, and these are the different wireless, large wireless deployment solution, we can discuss this later. So we need to have uh, controllers for mid-size and small-size business solutions. So this is basically deployed when we go for this. So um, this has a different wireless antenna. So I'm just skipping it because this is basically talking about signal systems. So basically, how wireless devices works? We can have ad hoc mode, then uh, you know, to it's peer-to-peer -peer connections, and we can have infrastructure mode where this wireless access point can be connected to different uh, 
well as end user devices end user devices can be laptop pcs and all so i talk more it's i talk more is basically creating a hotspot in laptop and stuttering and uh, we in its infrastructure mode we uh, call it a uh, call it as basic service set so this is basically uh, the topology where we create in infrastructure mode so we have two types of uh, bases and ess so these are the basic a uh, structure topology structure in wireless and this is wireless header so wireless 802.11 frame this is different uh, from 802.3 that is other mac so we we have here mac and mac we we'll, we may discuss later on so this is basically where shaft output which which shows that how this wireless 802.11 frame is little different from wireless 802.3 frame so we have frame control and it's you to pull in you know, frame fields and subfields so these are the uh, fields and sub subfields which talk about different frame frame types management frame control frame and data frame so this basically types of management frames uh, we have different control frames which are the different sub frame uh, sub frames where it specify that when on the packet need to be sent so rts and cts and acknowledgement these are the three things which need to be there in control frame to find out that when the packet need to be sent when uh, there will be acknowledgement and uh, there is a request to send first then it will uh, give a clearance that it need to send the packet and then there is acknowledgement as a reply to the packet whether the packet has received or not so this is uh, there in wireless access point there is a three stage process we have authentication which we will discuss later so when we talk about this connectivity we have ssid this is a unique identifier that any wireless client you uh, used to distinguish different wireless devices so ssid uh, need to be configured first so by ssid we can find out that which device i am connecting then the password which is a security key and the network mode by which we are connecting and we have when we configure this ssid ssid and pa password we have different security mode such as wep wp and wpa2 so we can discuss this in later so basically discovering ap we have passive mode and active mode this is the difference when we you know uh, we in passive mode we search for ssid and connect connected and active mode means we can have uh, probably knowing that ssid before and configure it and then get get connected so these are the ways we can uh, connect basically to different wireless devices active mode and passive mode so this have authentication i'll show you later there is open authentication you can, if you look into the topologies uh, there is open authentication for example this laptop if i um, go and uh, connect so i'm just what i'm doing i'm remo removing this uh, card and attaching wpc 300 in one and switch it on so it will connect to any of the wireless access point so basically it is taking from wireless router so so by this particular uh, you know so here we can see that this is open authentication so here any device which um, automatically get connected to any uh, any access point and the access point is open so it is not configured with the uh, key authentication next we have shared key authentication where you have to pass that key so basically if you just click on any ssid and if there is no authentication it will automatically get connected or or else it will ask for password so ssid must have password to have a security then there in in this case we can find out that what security mode we should use so these are the different uh, channels so dsss FHSS and OMDM are the basically uh, frequency channel by which the connection takes place. So this is how this channel selects. So we will talk about securing uh, wireless uh, and show you how these are configured. So authentication mode I have shown you that there, there are two things. One is open, so no pass, pass, password required, and secondly shared key. So these are the three types of shared key. what we often use that is wap wep wpa and wpa2 so 
what is WEP? WEP is first generation authentication where we use a basic uh, encryption mechanism where WPA is basically a little higher uh, than WEP where we, we do a uh, higher level of authentication use TKIP for encryption uh, so basically this use TKIP encryption method and here we have AES algorithm which is used for encryption so those who learn network security can understand this in details so this here we will show you the configuration how to configure this so basically TKIP is basically temporal key integrity protocol this protocol is used by WPA and uh, uh, this uses Cisco message integration check so Cisco MIC by which it carries out the authentication mechanism uh, whereas uh, this uh, WPA2 use AES, AES is a standard authentication mechanism uh, the full form AES is advanced encryption standard where it uses a better uh, you know, encryption mechanism which is a uh, little higher so this is again a discussion where how how this this is better than this is basically how this algorithm works basically this is uh, the algorithm AES works a uh, little better compared to others so better means this have a higher level of authentication so that is why it is better so we can have uh, personal uh, you know, devices or we can integrate with radius server so this uh, we can discuss later uh, because this is not scope of uh, our discussion today so basically when we configure a wireless router we give SSID then password we, we, we can give two password that is password to connect and password to configure that's the admin password when we uh, so I am showing you here in this case I will show you on the basic setup if I, I get connected to a particular router uh, then before con coming to this particular page this is a, this is how uh, a page looks like when we get connected to a wireless device or this is rather a wireless router so this asks for authentication so here uh, in this case this is the router password and we can give this uh, username and password here in this case so this particular uh, by default it is admin and uh, the password is given so you can there are routers where you can give your own username and password so this is one of the configuration which is there in the wireless device so so step by step i'll show you how to configure a wireless router for example this is a wireless router what i'm doing i'm making a topology so here in this case so what i'm doing i am connecting this so basically if we look into wireless router it has uh, two portions when is called uh, internet this is called internet so this has a uh, five ethernet port so this ethernet port is basically got connected to this particular ethernet port is got connected to internet and this particular ethernet port got connected to lan it has two different uh, area when is called WAN connection when is called LAN connection this is WAN connection and this is LAN connection this can be wired and wireless so we can also create a topology in between where these two access point and routers can connect it can be connected so this is the topology we are making so this is WAN and this is LAN so this is a network where this has a different broadcast domain and this got a different uh, broadcast domain so we are exactly uh, following that uh, following as it is what we have in um, this configuration so basically we are following the same one so let's see the server is having i am giving ip address here so go to desktop and giving ip address so i am giving a static ip address one 23 uh, for example this is the internet so i'm giving a live ip at 123.63.2. sorry uh, 123.63.2.151 255.255.248 rather we are giving uh, this ip address One twenty three dot sixty three dot 
Or any IP address you can give, for example, 10.0.0.1, just some other IP address get using 255 to 255.0, um, 10.0.0.2. So, for example, this we are using it here. So, here in this case, um, in wireless router, we are configuring internet with this particular. IP address we can give this, this as a default gateway, this as a IP address, this as a subnet mask. So, and if you ping, you can ping each other. So, let's see what is the problem. Now we are going to configure this wireless router. So when we go to wireless router, we basically go to we basically go and configure the same in um, so basically uh, if we type 10.0.0.2 from any of the server, it will uh, reply same. So, for example, if you go to desktop, go to web browser, if you type, um, or rather uh, from server, it's better. If we go here, if we type 10.0.0.2, this IP address should respond. Zero dot zero dot two. This should open. Otherwise, uh, this uh, we will check it later. So this is basically a setup. So, for example, if we go here and type IP address on URL, we get this particular page where we can uh, configure this router. So basically, first is uh, that how to connect this when. So this. You can see we have already connected this one uh, to well. So this is basically where uh, uh, this is a live connection. So here you can see we have given an IP address that is uh, here 123.63.2.151. This is one of the uh, live wireless router and subnet mask and default gateway we have given. So this default gateway is the gateway where this particular router is connected. So this is basically a when. Now next. This is internet setup and next is your LAN setup. LAN setup is basically again you have to give IP address and subnet mask and then you have to tell that what is your DHCP is basically dynamic host configuration protocol here. You know you can configure a different uh, you can give a pool and the hosts will get IP address from this particular pool. So basically you can give DNS name. So if you look into this configuration, it has all those live configuration where the device has given a name you can also have option to give a domain name and here you can specify that uh, starting IP address and 
maximum number of users. So, so same way we can give maximum number of users is 150 and like that uh, we can save the settings. So I am saving the settings. So now you can see the range has become 10 to 150. So this is what. Now next is wireless security. So I am just going to basic wireless settings. So basic wireless. So click on wireless. Now it is asking for password. So I am giving username. I given username password here. So now here in this case you can see that it is asking for a basic wireless configuration where you have first you have to configure the network mode whether it is mixed or wireless B, G, N or disabled. So mixed means it will be mixed mode where a different uh, clients of A, B, G, IQP standards can be connected. So now network name I am giving Cisco. So this device I am giving a name Cisco and then radio band can be auto standard or wide so by default you can you can give standard or wide or you can give auto so it is better if you give auto so this is if you give auto by default also this standard channel will get this particular configuration so after that giving name again you have to click on save so this will be setting will be set now security mode come back to security mode so here in this case you can see I have configured uh, WPA2 so here in this case we can give WPA2 WPA2 personal WPA2 personal is uh, again this will specify whether AES or TKIP so it is better if you go for AES and give a password I am giving a password Cisco at the rate one two three, and then saving it save settings so this is basic configuration after that also you can configure the device that's uh, now you can go and change the host name so so go for administration here you can set the routers password here again i am giving password like uh, cisco and cisco so this is the password which is required for getting into this particular device when we type for so here in this case when we are coming here in this first page there is a possibility for giving host name so i have configured with the host name here so here in this case there is no host name possible because this is a limitation of this particular um, uh, device so basically you can also give a host name so this host name can be visible uh, here you can give host name or domain name anyway uh, i am just closing and going back to the packet tracer and see now you can see every device is connected to access point now what i am going to do is now i am connecting this particular lock laptop to this particular wireless router so what i'm doing i'm going to this particular laptop go to pc wireless and then what i'm doing click on connect and click clicking on refresh so it will show you the list so, so here the first one is cisco and second one is default so initially uh, this was connected to cisco because this was open now it is now connected to default because I have not configured this wireless access point. So this is now connected to the default. Now if I want to connect to this particular device, so what, what I have to do, I have to click on connect. Now it will ask for security key where I have to provide Cisco at the one, two, three, and click on connect. Now you can see this particular device will get connected to this particular wireless router. Now uh, why this uh, lap two laptops are connected to this particular access point? Why this not these three laptops are connected? Because this does not have wireless. Mm, NIC card connected. So what I am doing? I am just uh, removing this particular. Sorry, I have to first switch it off. 
removing this red, red card and what I, I have to do I have to click on this wireless WPC 300N is a wireless card which I need to attach here and now my device is having wireless card so now you can see once I keep on configuring these devices so what, what I am doing going to physical switch off this particular device and now WPC 400 uh, sorry WPC 300N and switch it on once I switch it on this will be connected connecting to access point so this is what my uh, tendency was uh, or, or my requirement was my uh, this is uh, the tendency of the device is basically to get connected to a default device since you know here in topology but uh, normally what happens in wireless devices uh, you have to select SSID so now I am going to the access point and you know configuring this so this setting Now port 0 is where it is connected. Now port 1, port 1 what you have to do, you have to give a SSID. So I am giving SSID as uh, um, normal uh, Cisco AP. And now what I am doing, I am giving a WPA2 key. And here I am giving again Cisco at the rate 1, 2, 3. And switch it on again. Now, now you can see no device is connected to this ok now again going to laptop going to desktop PC wireless click on connect refresh now you have option to connect to different devices now you can also connect to wireless access point click on this again Cisco at the rate 1 2 3 click on connect now this device will get connected to sorry Wait, what can I click here? Cisco AP connect Cisco at the red one two three connect. No, sorry. This was uh, by mistake I connected to this particular router. Now what you have to do, you have to go and first find out that what are the available devices. So Cisco AP is there. Now click on connect and give the password. And in that particular fashion, fashion again I made a mistake. I instead of Cisco AP, Cisco at the rate one two three, and connecting it. So it is connected. Now, what we can see, we, if, we, if we take one more access point, and so where from I will take the access point, this is the wireless device. So, here in this case, we can take any access point. Now, you can see this is connected. Now, Again, what we can do, we can give a connection to this particular access point. So, the topology is formed. So, this is a topology where this is default. So, where this this laptop is connected to. Now, you can check laptop got IP address. All all laptop got IP address. So every laptop got IP address. Now you can ping. So this is the LAN, this is the WAN. So this is the basic configuration. Now go back to the chapters of scaling network. So you can see, you can read it out from these particular chapters. So different uh, what I was quickly going through it. You can 
go through these particular chapters. So, so you can download this uh, investigation creating wireless implementation. So, there are a lot of activities are there in that Cisco packet tracer and uh, uh, sorry uh, with Cisco packet tracer and also there are a lot of queries and activities in uh, NetAcket. So we can configure that too. So that's basically my basic configuration how to configure a wireless device. Thank you. Thank you for your patience here.